Is the Edmonton real estate market performing better in 2019 than it did in 2018? How about the Sherwood Park real estate market? How is it doing year over year? If you want answers to these questions, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Jen McPhillamy, Real Estate Associate Realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. When looking over the data from October 2019, and October 2018, I can report that Edmonton is doing better in both the detached single family home segment and the condo segment. Whereas Sherwood Park is killing it in the condo segment and seems to be dropping the ball in the detached single family home segment. How much better is Edmonton really doing from last year? Is Sherwood Park's detached single family home market really crashing and the condo market flourishing? Seems odd. So let's go over the numbers. But first, before we get started, go ahead and click the subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on my new videos and my monthly market updates. So when we look into the numbers, please keep in mind the basics of supply and demand. When I refer to inventory, that's the supply of homes or condos available on the market for somebody to purchase and the demand is the amount of homes sold. So the absorption rate, which I refer to as the chance of selling, that will increase as your inventory decreases and your demand, your amount of homes sold, increases. Why does this matter? So we know what type of market we're in, either a buyer's market, a balanced market, or a seller's market. Okay, so let's look at the Edmonton residential real estate market comparing October 2019 to October 2018. First, the detached single family home segment. We saw a decrease in inventory by 30%, which is pretty huge, while the amount of homes sold increased by 11%. The median sale price and the average days on market stayed the same. The overall absorption rate, your chance of selling, increased by 6% to 17%. That's a great improvement, but we still find ourselves in a buyer's market. As for the condo segment in Edmonton, we saw a decrease in inventory by 20% and a marginal increase of 1% for condos sold. The median sale price remains unchanged, but it takes 10 days longer to sell a condo this year versus last year. The overall absorption rate increased by 3% to 13%, which is really nice to see, but it still continues to be a buyer's market for condos in Edmonton. Okay, moving on to Sherwood Park, comparing October 2019 to October 2018. First off, let me be clear, the sky is actually not falling with detached single family homes in Sherwood Park. Even though there is a pretty big drop of 24% of homes sold compared to last year, there was also a huge drop of inventory by 64%. Median sale price remains unchanged and homes are selling faster, 12 days faster than last year. So when we're just looking at sales in this segment, things look kind of bad, but buyers have 64% less options to choose from. It's a very good sign to see stabilization in median sale prices and home selling faster. Overall, the absorption rate increased by 4% to 26%, which is pretty close to a balanced market. Well, it's quite a different story for condos in Shore Park. Condos saw a 69% increase in condo sales compared to last year and a 15% decrease in inventory. But that did come at a cost the median sale price decreased by 7%. However, condos did sell four days faster than compared to last October. Overall, the absorption rate doubled from last year to 28%. A balanced market is 30%, so for this month anyway, you may as well say Sherwood Park was in a balanced market for October 2019. So being in a balanced market is great for the condos in Sherwood Park, but I do caution you because I have noticed month over month, this is not the same. It's pretty stable with the detached single family home market in Sure Park, but with the condos, one month we're in a buyer's market, the next month we're in a balanced market. So it's gonna be interesting to see if that holds true 
for November or if we're gonna see another drop in the absorption rate. It's gonna be a pretty interesting winter market and I think it's gonna be a pretty hard one to predict. So stay tuned for my monthly updates to see how things unfold. If you have any questions about the market or would like specific information about your neighborhood, then just reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye.